Hey guys, this is Ziggler Clone Fanatic doing my second Iron Man 3 review. Today I'll be doing it in on Iron Man 3 Extreme S Seaport Battle. It contains 195 pieces, ages 6 to 12, set number 76006, and it retails for $20. Let's start with the minifigures. So, to begin, we have Altridge Killian. Alt um, as I said before in my last video, Altridge, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in these reviews. So, yeah. Altridge Killian, the main bad guy in the movie. Um, yeah, not the Mandarin, sadly. Would have been better, but no. Um, he comes with an ADU pistol, like everyone else in Iron Man and it comes with the dynamite um, and it comes with the business shirt um, Hawkeye's hair and let's see if I can do this a glow-in-the-dark head yeah it's gone so yeah there's Aldrich Killian in his business left foot Next we have Mark 42 Iron Man. Mark 42 Armor. Iron Man. So yeah, this is Iron Man Mark 42. Yeah, he's just flying right now. I'll just wait till he's done. So yeah, this is Mark 42 Iron Man. Uh, back printing. Front printing, leg printing. And then he's got a brand new head. The smirk face, smirk face right there. Yeah, smirk face, and then screwed. Oh my goodness, face. Then no uh, heads up displays again, because ne Lego never has a thing to do that. And then yeah, there he is. So yeah, that's Mark Forty Two Iron Man. I move them two over here because we're gonna need them later. And then here's the reason that you want to get this set. War Machine. So yeah, this is War Machine. Piloted by Colonel James Rhodes. Yeah, he's got red repulsors, which is kind of cool. But if it has red repulsors, why isn't the eyes red? Mm -hmm. And, um, I'm not sure about this, but it never really indicates it, but... It has a zero zero two at the top, so this could be War Machine Mark Two, but I think War Machine Mark Two is a dark blue color. This is like a dark gray color with light gray stuff and silver. So yeah, um, he comes with the minigun. Let me take off his helmet. Yeah, no heads up display is normal. It can't be Mark II, the Mark II Iron Man, because Mark II is just all silver, and this is a dark, dark gray. And, um, so this is Rhodey. That's Rhodey. That's Rhodey Rhodes. So yeah, there's his front, and then there's his back. Um, let me take his head off. There's the minigun part right there. Easy, simple build. You just get a neck piece and then one of those. And then you just stick a, a claw in there and then, yeah. So, there's the front printing. FF02. Um, O2 is supposed to be right here on the arm, but they did it differently, that's why I can't tell if it's Mark II. And there's Star, which is on the back. I think it's, I think it's supposed to be on the arm or something, but I forgot. And yeah, there's the back printing, and then the leg printing. Which has got like knee pads, shoulder pads, and foot pads. So yeah, there's War Machine. And then he fell off his red repulsors. So yeah, um, so this is actually before Iron Patriot, that's why, yeah, surprised like I didn't do Iron Patriot first, and then do War Machine, 
instead of doing Iron Patriot for the poly bag, which is some people say it's going to be impossible to get, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't even looked at Walmart yet. It could be there, and I probably haven't looked. So yeah, there's War Machine. Now, so those are the three minifigures. An excellent idea. Three minifigures for a twelve for a twenty dollar set. And then here is the first item, which is a exploding buoy. Spoiler alert, the scene was never in the movie. That's why War Machine's not in it. Because War Machine was never on the movie. It was only Iron Patriot the whole time. And yeah. So this is how you explode it. Yeah, just go like that. Bunch of red pieces in it. And yeah. And this boat was never in the movie. This whole entire scene was in the movie. Two of these sets are not even in the movie. The one before this, the smaller one, this one, and that's it. Only the Malibu Mansion is um, accurate to the movie. So yeah, this thing can move up and down. The instructions say to put it like this. So it can be like aeroseek and dynamic. Instead of it going like and yeah. So it go like aeroseek and dynamic, just miss the guy's head. So yeah. Um few features in this. You can take this thingy off. You can take the phone off. And place the diamond right in there. You probably even fit Ultra's Killian. You could. Yeah, you could fit in there. You put a whole mini figure in there. So yeah, there, that's where the Dianite's supposed to go. And then you're supposed to take Ultra Killian's gun, the ADU pistol. And then you look in here. And then there's these red hookies on both sides. You could fit two. So yeah. Um, hard to see what you're doing. There. There's a the pistol in there. And you can put Ultra's Killian right there. Now he's controlling the boat. Just to the side because the LED is Conquest pistols right there. So yeah, he goes right there. And then these green thingies right here are flick fires. And then yeah, these mechanisms right here fire them, which is a good thing when Lego does that. So yeah. Now they're down. Um, then you insert them back in here, and you fire again. Um, the boat is just nice design. It's huge. It's like when I was building it, I thought it was going to be tiny, but it's huge. So like, here's Mark 42, and I lay him right here. It's like about, I don't know, um, let me try. One, two... Four, three and a half minifigures long. It's three and a half minifigures long. And, yeah. So there's the back detail right here. Just two tiny motors just to make this thing super fast. It's like that. They should probably put this boat in the Lego Marvel Superheroes game. Along with War Machine. That's what I want in the game. War Machine and all the Iron Man armors. 6, 7, and 42 have been confirmed already. War Machine, not yet. Pa Iron Patriot, not sure. So yeah, here is, is the box. Uh, yeah. Um, here's the box. The Iron Man Mark 42, War Machine right there, Mark 42 again. And all the schematics. All the schematic keys right here. Um, it says comic book venture included. We'll go over that soon. Iron Man Mark 42 armor. War Machine and Ultra Killian. Iron Man 3. Boat. Yeah, never in the movie. Never really showed the city that much. Um, here's the back. It shows that the mine can explode. You can fire the missiles by pulling that thing down. You can hide Ultra Killian in there. It's good. And then Iron Man's got a missus repulsor. Magically floating. 
and then, yeah, the boo and then Rody right here. And yeah, that's the box. Now, um, we'll go over the, we'll go over the comic book first. Um, I don't know if this contains spoilers, I haven't really looked at it fully low, fully yet, but I bet it does. Except the War Machine part. And yeah, the beginning does. Yeah. As from what I can tell, yeah, the beginning is, yeah, it does tell spoilers. Except a little bit is inaccurate. Um, so yeah, here is the first part. Dummies in the background, Mark 42 is in the wrong spot. Because that's for 6 and 7. And then you get helicopters coming. You get helicopters coming. Mandarin was red, never really in the plant, in the helicopter. It was all search kill in. Um, so yeah, yeah, I don't really, I can basically say this whole entire comic because this is a spoiler review. Um, then they see him, and they go like, oh my goodness, they're coming, fire missile, boom, Tony gets knocked out, Pepper tries to reach, Tony's down there, and then Pepper has an idea, which is not really accurate, because Tony Stark has the armor on, and then he throws it to Pepper, or tosses it, or grasps to Pepper, and he's going right there, and then he's falling, this is never really accurate anyway. Because Tony Stark falls. And then the Mandarin is standing right there, but he's never not. And then the man then the this is not accurate too. Hmm? Well, this could be. I don't remember the suit flying to him. Well, I remember it flying to him, and now somehow he gets in the water. But it's never really pepper in it. And then, yeah, Tony Stark. Tony Stark falls in the water with the armor in it. And here's the second part, and this is not accurate. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. You can just zoom by this. He's flying there, he goes there. There's more machine. So, look, more machine's eyes are red here. But the figure doesn't. It's kind of like cheap. So, if the eyes are red, I would say this is a Mark II version. Well, wait, never mind. <laughs> it would be the Mark I version, though. And yeah, Dynabite's in there. Tony tries to blow it out, but he misses. And yeah, he fires a missile, comes to Rhodey, and then he goes like, boom, into the water. And, yeah. He starts beating. Iron Man just blasts through it. And then uh, Rhodey comes back up, and they both get him. And here's the final battle. It just never really happens at a factory. It happens at a port. It's cranes. And then, yeah, this is not accurate. This is not accurate. Oh, that's accurate, though. Even though the, the Arc 17 Heartbreaker never really had that much screen time. It was only Jarvis wants to pick up roads. And yeah. And then, yeah, he misses. There he goes. And then... Mandarin versus Iron Man with the Mandarin on his face. And then, yeah. Here's all the Marvel Wave 2 figures with Venom. And then there's Iron Man 3. And then here's Wave 1 with the Avengers. Which I'm probably going to try to get the Mark 8, Mark 7 armor. I already have the Mark 6. I'm going to try to get the rest of the Avengers. Because I only have, I only have Hawkeye, Captain America, and Iron Man, and I have Magneto and Deadpool and him, and two of the Chitauris and him. And then yeah, so yeah, there's that. And then here's the instruction manual. Let's go quickly right through it. Um, yeah, it says right here you can change day and night. Um, war machine, war machine. Speed through it. And you can put the gun right here. And the buoy. Killed. And there's that. And then here's this. This is the best. Can't wait to get it. And it says you can use the Xbox Live for it. So that means I could probably play with one of you guys. And this armor is going to be in the game. I was so surprised. It's like you show, it shows the back of it. 
like a pixelated version. And I can make out that gold bar that's right under it. Go, like, go at the, um, like when they're, when it, the video on YouTube that shows them designing the Stark Tower level. And when it shows, like, the outside when they're on the platform and there's a random dude up here. Like, look at Iron Man, the playable character Iron Man next to Hulk and Captain America. You'll see this. You'll see like this. You'll see something like this. And then you can make out that gold line. And that's Mark 42. So I guess he's going to be jumping a lot. I guess a lot of armors. So yeah. That's basically the review, guys. That... Uh, that was the extremist port battle, seaport battle. Um, so, this is Lego Clone Fanatic, signing out.